Yeah, so hello guys and praise Jesus. My name is Francis Kalemi and as we do here, we do uh, tutorials, videos for tutorials, videos that will help you learn something at the end of this particular uh, tutorial. So today what I want us basically to do is, um, I want us to uh, create uh, something or rather to do a photocopy and also to show you on how we can uh, scan a document. So guys, uh, as you can see, I'm in Ivasha and um, uh, this is where I want us to do that. So stick with me guys and remember something very important. So if you are new here, just please give her that subscribe it means a lot for us and also uh hit that subscribe button okay um rather uh hit that like button share this video and leave us a comment we really appreciate it and god will bless you so much so thank you guys uh let's get into this video Uh, so guys before you do a copy first of all there is things that you you must uh, keep in mind So as you can see here, I have these two documents here I have this one document which is just one-sided that means it doesn't have the back side It just has the front side and then we have another one here and uh, it has both sides Yeah, so I'm going to do this one uh, as a copy and it should come also with a, a one page But it should have the front page and the back page well this one only we just have a single page now this one is much simpler than this one some people find it that uh, this one is more complicated but um after this video you'll see how it is easy to make this now as you can see guys this is uh these are flyers basically this is a flyer and maybe there's a brochure now a flyer is just it just gives you a brief description of maybe what an institution or maybe what um, what a company is doing while rather uh, having a brochure will give you a detail some some more detailed information yeah not in brief of what maybe a company or an organization might be doing so uh without much ado let's go ahead so here is the printer so what i'll do is i should make sure that this printer is turned on so as you can see this is my type of printer so make sure that you turn on the power from the power supply and then you press this button here for start so i'm just going to press that button there it goes so it should it should start there it is so another things that i need i need to open this upper layer this point here so i just uh, touch here and pull upward like that it opens like that so we are going to start with this document which uh, is just single-sided so um so this is the area where you can uh put your paper and it has some rebels so this is the left area and uh, you have the sizes here so if your document is a b5 you'll need to put it somewhere here if it's an a4 it's here and if it's a letter it should touch at that point so for my case here my document size is an a4 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press it uh, to press it so the the side that contains text is the one that you press down once facing downwards like that so i make sure it touches that area and i make sure it fits there and uh, that's how the paper looks so i'll need to close this like that and then uh, i'll figure out so we have two buttons here for copying we have these two buttons this one here and the other one here now this one is for uh, photocopying a, a black and white copy so if i want a black and white copy i just press on this let's try that there you go just press once so you will press it according to the number of copies that you want so for my case i just pressed one because i just need a single copy so if i want to i'll continue pressing this if i want 10 i'll press it 10 times now as you can see guys it has produced a black and white copy now this is not basically black and white but uh, it, it, it looks like a grayscale to me yeah so this black and white so if i want colored one i'll just press on this button here which is a little bit looks like a blue one so i just click on that so if i click on that also i need to click the number of copies that i also need so but maybe for your case you'll need to press it maybe multiple times five times for five copies or ten times for ten copies now as you can see in a voluta paper parenuma and printing colored it takes some bit of time as compared to printing a grayscale uh, document so there it is my paper is coming out yes um, yes and now it is done 
Now, uh, once, once it is done, now we are to remove that paper that we pressed inside here. So uh, we open this area here like that, and then this is the paper. We just remove it, uh, we press it uh, somewhere else, and then we close this. So that's how we do a copy. So I have done two copies here, one colored and one black and white, and that was uh, my paper that I used to make a copy of this. Now, so that is how simple it is to make a one-sided copy now i want us to do a, a two-sided copy now this one here and and it is colored now that you know which is colored and uh, which one is not colored so i want to make colored paper of this particular paper here so as normal just open this area here and then uh, uh press your paper like that and just close it and then press the one that is colored there it goes and uh, it's at printing it takes in the paper that goes let's wait mm, there yeah there it comes out okay 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 and uh, it is done there it goes now so what you do um hmm, now what you do is you may you pay keen attention to how the paper comes out so paper it has come out like this yeah so what you do you just take this paper the way it is and change it to the back side okay the way it is from the printer to the back side and then you press it at the beginning here to be the first paper so you you take it inside this area here to print the back back layer now again what you do to this area here the way the paper is pressed what you do you just pick it like this you pick it like that and then you change it just like that yeah and then you press it you make sure it touches these edges here and then you just close down and then you just press on this particular copy button the colored one you press on it like that so it is going to print the back layer of that particular page and uh, let's wait and see yes so there it is it has come out so let's see if it was printed successfully uh, yes that side is fine let's look at the other point perfect yes so that is absolutely how we wanted to print this particular paper so it is two-sided which is the same as the one that is inside here so just open this it is just there press it there and then close this so this is our copy paper and this one was the original document so as you can see it is much similar it looks just the same but it just reduces some little quality now for example some little quality is for example this color here it's not so much concentrated as compared to the one that is slight here so that's basically how guys you should do copies so you have understood how to do copies for both sides and for both for, uh, for a single uh, page document now so um so the other thing i want us to see is how we can now scan a document and maybe send it to a person so let's get it right into it so um i want i want me to scan this document and send it to my friend because i want them to read about this brief description of my institution so what i do i just press it inside here and uh, just light there make sure the printer fits on the edges like that and then just close this and then on my computer here uh, just to remove these areas here there it goes um, so on my computer there it is and um, yeah so what I need to do is I need to go and find um, on the start menu a scan yeah so I just drag down for scanner uh, just drag down to where it has yes. uh, here it is scan so to scan the document so this is not uh it's not available for new computer so you must install it by clicking on our office store and downloading it so just click on these ones and it will open this scan area here now what i'll need to do is it has already configured my uh my scanner here here it is the l uh, l360 that is my, my printer here which is l uh sixty. so there it goes um, so what I need to click is I will need to click on this scan button here So click on that and it will start scanning. You can even hear some sounds from the printer 
yeah that means the printer is copying and this this button here the the uh, the power button is blinking so whenever this power button blinks that means the computer is busy at doing something so maybe this computer can't give it any other job because it's already it's already doing something yeah and it follows the first uh, first come first serve order um so it's going to scan that document uh, let's see uh huh yes and it and it is done so here right here it is right here so just click on that to open that document and view it so let's see it opens right here there it is so this is the document it has been scanned like that it has been scanned landscape because um that's how i press this landscape and here it comes as a portrait site so what i need to do is i can send this document to any person maybe using the email or any other thing so that is basically it guys how to uh, uh scan a document very simple to access that uh, document just head on to file explorer just open that click on pictures here if you can't locate pictures on this side you can uh, you can click it on this area here you press on that and then um it will rearrange these areas here where you can see um uh, you can scroll down for scans uh -huh. just uh, just let's see uh let's let it be categorized so it categorizes them here it is so you click on this folder called scan and this is your document so to find your document that you will scan right now it is just right here you can scan, you can look for the name the original it was in 2021 uh that is 11 29 that is the month of uh november and 29th is the day and here it is you can see it from the computer here we have the month uh the date 29th 11th uh 2021 and so on monday now uh, you can open this to view this and uh, yeah so that is how it works so that is it guys and uh, i hope you guys like my lesson